Hey guys and welcome back to Skyrim for another Creation Club guide walkthrough. In this episode we're going to be following the Vile Whispers questline for the Sword Umbra. And it starts off here at Champion's Rest. And Champion's Rest is just sort of uh, northeast of Riften. Um, it's quite an easy location to find. You basically just head down from the stables and then and then a little bit east. Um, don't worry about the location next to it because I'm not sure whether that location actually shows up sort of within the base uh, Skyrim game. So it's easier just to say northeast of Riften. Now I can't remember how I started this quest. I believe I either read it in a book or a note or it just randomly uh, appeared. Um, but if you head towards this location anyway, you should be able to start the quest. Um, so yeah, hopefully that wraps up any confusion. Let's hear the, uh, backstory to this quest line. Uh, I've heard rumors that a Nordic ruin, Champion's Rest, which is where we are, was recently uncovered in a silver mine near Shaw's Stone. So obviously this location is near Shaw's Stone as well, but I don't know where that is. I've not discovered it yet. Um, yeah. Uh, the miners reportedly fled, leaving their belongings behind. I should investigate the miners' campsite to see if I can learn anything about what caused them to flee. But I'm going to go inside, Champion's Rest, and see what this is all about. Now, I'm hoping there's a pickaxe, because if they've left all their belongings, then great, there is a pickaxe, perfect. I can actually mine that iron ore. There's also a knapsack down here in the dark. Some cabbage, take that. A potion. I don't need any of that other stuff. Right. Got some silver ore. This is a silver mine. And there is a book, Vigilance Report. Now, I'm not going to read it myself, but if you guys want to read it, then by all means, pause, and there we go. Just going to take this stuff, and then we'll see what the update is. I also have been doing a lot of alchemy, so I'll be going collecting all the ingredients, because uh, that's something I'm into at the minute. Right, let's see the update. The miners witnessed an armor-clad ghost wielding a menacing blade that struck fear into them, causing them to flee. A vigilant of Stendar investigated and suspects that this blade may be Umbra, a Daedric artifact with the power to steal souls and bend its bearer to its will. I should investigate the ruins to find the source of this dark presence. As long as this threat remains, sure stone is not safe. No, it is not. We will end it. Also, want to take these glowing mushrooms. Just going to be spamming, taking all the ingredients as I walk through this dungeon, cave, whatever. Also, I believe that Umbra was a sword that you could get in the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I believe in that game, though, it was a one-handed weapon. If any of you are interested and any of you do go through and, you know, build up your mining and smithing, then there are plenty of ore veins around for you to collect. Plenty of pickaxes uh, if you didn't bring your own. So it's definitely worth uh, looking into and, and going through and exploring in that sense. Lots of urns with money as well. I can already see there's an ancient Nord greatsword here on the side as well. Some potions. Obviously there's going to be... St oh, there's a, there's, a, there's a ghost. There's going to be stuff that I missed. But, uh, you know, you guys are always welcome to put anything extra you find in the comments below to help anyone else going through and doing this. That ghost just disappeared. That's just a flagon back there. Also, don't want to do this like too slowly that you guys get completely bored. I mean, like, I'm oh, searching every little thing. There's a little potion next to that skeleton, though. Right. Okay. Got to be careful. I feel like there's going to be some skeletons popping out. Or Draugr. Oh, okay, so we've got some puzzles coming up. Which, I'm guessing the puzzles are going to unlock some of these gates. So let's pull this chain and see what happens. Nothing. I don't think anything happened. Did, was this open already? Was this... I don't know, you guys. Oh, hello. Hello. 
There we go. He's gone. Take my arrows back. Thanking you. What well, have we got? Some bone meal. Lovely. I'm just going to take the bone meal from that. Okay, nothing. Thought might be some sort of pressure plate thing. Some saber cat teeth. And if we head down a little bit further. It's a little bit wary because there's already been one Draugr. No, nothing. Okay, cool. Right, there is a handle here. Don't don't pull that handle. Don't just go down here and pull that handle. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the handle we pull once we um, actually figure out the puzzle. So what have we got? We've got... We've got a bird and a snake. And I think that's the other thing. I think that's that symbol. But what order is it in? Is it is it opposite or is it... Let's go left to right and let's go left to right. So that... Then a bird. Then a snake. Let's try that. Okay, let's, let's just do the opposite. So... Opposite of that is a snake. Opposite to that is still a bird. And then that. But I don't know what that is. Is, that, is it meant to be a fish or a whale or something? Well, that seemed to work. Gates have opened. This is now available. There's some little gems down here as well. Let's take all that. Managed to get through that without dying, which is awesome. Or being hit at all, to be fair. Um, nothing else in this room was there. No. Just need to go back up. Uh, there is now enemies popping up. This dragon needs to die first. That was awful. He's sort of just stuck on that thing. Okay, I spoke too soon. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that arrow? All that arrow inside your head? I take all the random shit. Right, okay, so does this now work? That now works, but that's only half of that gate. On the other side, there is, though, there is another little passageway down here. Does this lead to the same area? Or is it a new area? No, this is definitely a new area. I've not been here before. Also, I can hear a Draugr walking around. I think he's down below. This direction. Yeah, there we go, there we go, there we go. I can hear another one though. Okay, right, I'm not going to make the same mistake. I thought I was pulling the handle. And we're going to go opposites this time. Same, same as we did last time. So the middle one's a snake. And that looks like a snake again. It doesn't look like a bird. So I'm going to pull the handle. And that worked. That actually worked. Okay, so if you guys are following this with me uh, and actually doing the quest for yourself, that's what you've got to do. It's a snake, snake, and then whale. Did you... I didn't even pay attention as I was walking through that. And I still didn't manage to get hit by any of those blades. I just was not paying attention whatsoever. I think I'm quite lucky. Right, so as we go back up here, I reckon if I pull that handle again... I did not mean to do that. Um, if I pull that handle again, it will reveal the other half of that doorway... 
But I also know that right now we've got more Draugr. Go away. You don't need to be here. I also didn't realise there was two handles. But to be fair, they probably would have done nothing. Because the first time I tried one handle, it did nothing anyway. So, unless I was being ridiculously dumb. That's now open anyway. We uh, we have got through. I do believe you have to go through like that. If not, then I've just shown you how to do get some extra treasure. So, But I'm pretty sure that's what we had to do. Also, for a silver mine... So we've, we've run out of the mine now, haven't we? We are just in in the dungeon. Oh, Draugr White Lord. Oh, sorry, Lord. You're just going just gonna to dodge my arrow like that? I see how it is. And he shouts. Of course he does. Yeah. So do I. Oh, I also miss my shots as well. That's it. On your knees. On your knees. Amazing. Lovely. Can't touch this. Right. Let's take, take all the gold. Uh, no one else is going to be awakened today. Thank you. Thank you. Gold. Perfect. Pull that cord. And we're through to the next area. I'm just going to collect these resources um the silver that i didn't collect at the beginning i've just realized i'm probably not i'm probably not gonna be going back to collect that <laughs> but it's not a big deal because i can always like go through that beginning a bit of this dungeon again another time it's not really that it's not that deep it's not that deep guys right champions rest amphitheater and we're looking for this ghost that's been fearing the miners i I honestly don't feel like the mine has got this far, so... I'm just going to have to run through this, aren't I? Is it... Can I... Yeah, no, okay, they didn't work. They did not work. Oh, okay, they, they do actually stop. Oh, oh well. I wasn't going to hang around for that long. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, there's a pressure plate there, that's why. That's why that started. Uh, let's try this direction. To be fair, it didn't really do anything to my health, so it's not the end of the world. Also, how pretty does this look? This looks... It doesn't, it doesn't even realise I'm here. Dude! This way. Idiot. Right, what have we got? We got a nice little chest here. Ooh, it's got some good stuff in it. S steel soldier boots. That's uh, something new that I've not come across before. There's a spell tome there as well, which I'll take. And it sounds like we've got some more creatures spawning downstairs and upstairs. Oh god, half these arrows are barely even leaving the bow. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We haven't died. We haven't even come close to dying yet, which is great. Because normally I do. There's lots of loot around in this area. So there's, there's some gold on the shelf. I didn't want the enambling tool, but there's a silver ring there, which I will take. And some soul gems as well. There's a black soul gem here on the table. Some scrolls. Nice little skeleton. Lots of skeleton. Some fungus. That's a nice lovely fungus. Uh, I don't know what else I'm meant to do in this area down here. Right, where do we go next? I'll take that potion as well. Right, so we went across. 
Oh, okay, there we go. I just saw the way. It's down here. Do you know what? It's actually really hard to, like, play and see clearly when you've got two massive lights shining in your face. Okay, that was that was the ghost. That was the ghost. He's, he's scaring me off. Also, this, this is a little bit spooky. I'm going to sneak through here. I'm a little bit worried. That was empty. This is a little bit spooky. Tell me you're dead. Tell me you're dead. You're dead. Hey, you're dead. You are dead. Alright, we must be getting close now. And I expect some sort of trap to pop up any minute. Right, this is this is the ghost that's been scaring everyone away. And honestly, this is so hard. Um I'm not even going to joke about the fact that I have done this now on uh, a few occasions. The best tactic that I've found so far is to uh, to begin with run away because the state he's in right now, he takes no damage whatsoever. And I've got my healing spells equipped just in case. So what he's going to do is he's going to split himself into these aberrations or like other sort of parts of him. These you can kill. And these will also be affected by your shouts and stuff. He currently, in his current state, is not affected by that stuff whatsoever. So once those are gone, I believe this is when he sort of takes the most damage. But he also does deal a ridiculous amount of damage as well. So just got to be careful. When he starts to do this, run for your life. Because I'm pretty sure he's about to explode and make everything fiery. Yeah. That is a killer. Now I think he's in his sort of untouchable state again. So I'm just going to run away. I don't know. I've not actually got this far. Uh, I keep dying to the fire spell. But before when he was in that state, he was untouchable. So I'm going to run away from him whilst he's in that state. Again, kill these bits of him. And if you guys think that this is me, like, being silly, then you're wrong. Because I've actually had to, and this is really sad to admit, but I've had to lower the difficulty of the game to do this fight and get this far. I'm playing on novice right now. <laughs> oh, God. I'm literally playing on the... Oh, God, please go away. <laughs> I don't like this one. <laughs> the Umbra Quest line is really hard. <laughs> um, I mean, it's a proper boss fight. Like, I feel like he is bossing me. See, if I shout full Fruce Rodar, it does nothing to him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Right. Uh, what am I looking for? Potions. I'm going to need some more health. Restore health. I've got a few restore health, which is good. Oh, run away. Run away. Oh. Okay, I thought I wasn't actually dead, but I am. I'm just paralysed. For how long? I don't know. I'm just keeping an eye on my health. How long am I paralysed for? I did not want to use that, but also I, I had to. Okay, I can't believe I actually survived that. Paral Paralysis one? Yeah, that's not the one, guys. That, To be fair, the fire one was probably worse. 
I'm gonna have to use everything in my book to get this guy dead. Oh, okay, he's dead. He's finally dead. <sighs> oh, honestly, that was probably like one of the toughest fights in Skyrim I've ever had to do. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We did it. Let's put that ebony armor on and pretend that we're him because he completely wrecked us. <laughs> Also, what sort of damage did that do? Do you know what? It's not even it's not even the best weapon that I've collected. It's not even the best weapon I've collected. Oh, I hate that guy. <laughs> I hate this quest line. Um, I honestly want to die. Uh, I think that's done. Did we actually do it? I think we did it. Do you know what? Somewhere around there's a chest here. It better be filled with like 10,000 gold because that's what I feel like I deserve after winning that. Um, also, to be fair, there is an ancient Nord helmet down here, and some ancient Nord, Nord armor, some ancient Nord gauntlets, and some ancient Nord boots. <sighs> All of that, which I'm not going to lie, but the ancient Nord armor is probably my most liked armor in the game. So I'm actually going to put that on instead of that ebony armor. Um, it doesn't quite make it worth all of that hassle. But it definitely um, definitely makes me feel good that I've got a set of ancient Nord armor. So once you kill Umbra, that is it. You are you are free to leave this place uh, and the way out. I'm not going to bother search around anymore because I just I just want to get out of here. Uh, I believe it's just down here. You head in this direction. Oh, there's some more. Oh, okay. I thought was if that was everything, I would have been very upset. But there isn't. There's some more common soul gems. There's another book. Two black soul gems here. A scroll. Treasure Hunter's Journal. Uh, do you know what? I'm just going to take it anyway, just in case it's important later on. I doubt it will be. Some books that I'm not going to read. Uh, a coin purse with 28. Some, some bloody rags. Lots of soul gems. Another big chest. Steel armor, flawless garnet, hundred. Uh, that I'm gonna take. That I'll take. It's another soul gem. These guys all have a bit of gold on them. Uh, did I search for that knapsack? I did not. It's got some more goodies in it. Some stuff in there which I'll take as well. Let's head up and round this way. Through the door. We got the key. Back to Champion's Rest. That def that last bit of loot that we got there on that last room, all the soul gems and everything, that definitely makes it a little bit more worth it. Although that was a really, really tough quest. Um and that that Oh god, there's a skeever. Skeever. We captured his soul. Okay, that's that's not the direction. Where's, where's the way out? Uh oh, oh god, is that not the skeever? We're filling up our soul gems. This is the way out up here. There we go, and that's exactly where we started. Right, well, I just I just want to get out of here. I honestly want to get out of here. <sighs> that was the quest line. For the sword umbra um honestly let's have a quick look at the uh the stats of that sword so let's have a quick look at the sword itself it's a two-handed weapon two-handed uh two-handed sword uh if the target dies within 20 seconds fills a soul gem absorb 25 points of health and absorb 25 points of stamina it weighs 23 and it has quite a high value like it looks really good it's quite a special sword really um but uh it's definitely the toughest um quest line and boss fight that i've i've ever done um and that's saying something right let's uh <laughs> let's put my and i wasn't joking i put my difficulty to novice for that so let's go back up to adept all right, now that he's interrupted, thank you for watching this. Um, I'll see you in the next video where we go through another Creation Club uh, add-on. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.